Hi guys and welcome to the myfitnessbiz.co.uk getting started with WordPress tutorials. In today's episode I'm going to quickly take you through how to upload Optimize Press 2 via an FTP client. So a lot of people have been having issues uploading Optimize Press 2 to their websites because of hosting restrictions on the size of the upload and this is how to get around it if you are not on Bluehost or you're on Dream Dreamhost or or any of the others, Namesco or any other hosting service. So let's get into it. First off, what you're going to need to have done is download Optimized Press theme from Optimized Press uh, website. You can do that by logging into your members area and downloading it. And secondly, you'll then have to right click and extract all of the files in order to bring it. So, because you don't want it as a zip folder, you want it as a folder here. So, extract them all and put them into another folder. Okay, second of all, you also need your FTP client details. So, Normally, this would be an email to you when you first set up your hosting account, but if you're with Bluehost, then you can search it, and with Dreamhost as well, you can search for your details, and I'll put links below this video on where to find that information. And thirdly, you'll also need to download a FTP client if you haven't done so already. I recommend FileZilla here, and I'll put the download, it's free download, and I'll, download, I'll put the link to that underneath this video as well. Okay, so then what you need to do is open up your FTP account and you enter in your host name, your username, your password and the port number up the top here. So you have this details like I said in an email but in the port number you may not have but generally the default is 21 you see there. Okay, Or what you can do is you can go to file and go to site manager and you can add a new site in here. So like you see, I've already added one here, MFB Getting Started, which is a, another domain of mine. So I can just connect to it because I've got all of it set up in here already. So after that, you can press Quick Connect or Connect as I did. And you'll see all this stuff come up here. Just looking for the greens and make sure there's no reds. And you'll see the information come in here. Now, this is where it may differ for you is I'm on a hosting service where I can add on domains. If you've just got a one hosting server, you'll you'll quickly see the, um, it'll log you into the folder that you need. But if not, you need to scroll down and find the public HTML folder. Double click on that. Scroll down for the domain that you're looking to change. For me, it is the MFB getting started. Or well, actually just for this, I'll do MFB tutorials because I haven't actually already uploaded that in there. Scroll down and look for the WP content folder, which would be this one here. Double click that. Look for themes and open up the folder. Okay, now you should see the other themes which are in here. But then what you need to do is go across on the left hand side, this is your documents. As you'll see, I've already got the folder that I need open, but you can scroll through your documents the same way as we did on the right hand side to find it. Find the, the unzipped optimized press theme folder, right click and click upload. Now what you'll see here is all of these files being queued at the bottom and it will slowly go into transferring across. Now this may take a while depending on the speed of your upload connection. I'm based out here in Qatar so it's quite a slow process and may take a couple of hours but this is probably the most uh, common way of uploading Optimized Press 2 theme to your website outside of if you've got Dreamhost which you've got a, a large, uh, sorry, of some of the other hosting services which have got larger upload capabilities. And then what you'll be able to do then is after the, all of the files are successfully transferred, you'll be able to log into your website and your WordPress website, go into the admin and then go along uh, to the appearance themes and you should see it available to activate in the actual WordPress website. So hope that was useful. If you've got any questions, as always, then email me at liamtrump at gmail.com or make a comment below this video and I'll happily go through any extra questions you have. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.